Welcome to Nollywood Radio France. My special guest today is Adenike Adebayo. As you will see in this interview, our guest is passionate about Nollywood movies and always excited to share her reviews on her YouTube channel with thousands of viewers and fans across the globe. Welcome to Nollywood Radio France. Thank you very much. Now, I would like you to introduce yourself to our listeners. Well, my name is Adenike Adebayo. Uh, I'm a Nollywood movie reviewer on YouTube. And when I'm not doing that, I'm an attorney. I actually practice law in the U.S. I practice family law, immigration, and I do a little bit of criminal too. So that's kind of what my life consists of right now, practicing of law and then watching Nollywood movies. We shall come to that. We shall come okay. to that. <laughs> now, as a film critic, what does Nollywood mean to you today? Well, Nollywood means a lot. I, I've been a Nollywood fan for like forever, for ages. Growing up, my parents and my siblings used to watch movies, Nollywood movies back then. And we actually used to have competitions about who could name the actors or actresses and all of that. So it was quite fun. I grew up watching Nollywood movies. And so seeing how far Nollywood has come actually makes me quite excited. And that's why I think I'm even more passionate about Nollywood because I remember back in the days how the movies used to be. And so compared to their productions right now, I have to give it to them. They've really come a long way. Yeah, you just said that you used to watch Nollywood movies with your, with your siblings. Is that in Nigeria or in um, Atlanta where you live now? Uh, that, that was back in Nigeria. I was born and raised in Nigeria. Okay, and what type of movies were you guys watching that period? Is that well, we used to watch a lot of a lot of Yoruba, a lot of uh, movies too, English Nollywood movies. Um, and by that, I mean I can when I think back, I can still remember movies like Silent Night and Onome and Violated and. All these beautiful movies, and in terms of the Yoruba movies, I can really remember Tiolewanile and just all these mainframe productions. So, yeah, we used to watch Yoruba movies, but then Nollywood English movies too. And then you were doing your little reviews that time, you know. You were happy. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I, I used to, we all did. You know, my brothers would say, Can you guess that actor's real name? And I'll be like, Oh, you know, I'm not sure. And it was just, uh, it was always fun. It was always fun having a family time with Nigerian movies. Okay, that's that, that's very interesting. So, how did your training as a BSc in mass communications and a Juris Doctor uh, degree in law, licensed in state of Georgia, help in preparing you for a career as a film critic? Well, I think I've I've always been a talker. I I grew up being a talker. I've always uh, had a voice. I, I tell my friends that God created me to have a voice about something whatever it is but i feel like i was created to be able to talk about something so right from high school and getting into undergrad to study mass communications i think every class i took and every step i took prepared me for where i am today four years of undergrad i was still talking to one of my lecturers you know a few weeks ago and i was telling him thank you so much for everything everything you taught me because it was so helpful. It pushed us really hard, but looking back, I see so I was really, really happy to, to talk to him and to say thank you. So, yeah, I, I, the classes I took, the internships I, I did, all prepared me for where I am today. I, I, I wouldn't like to say I'm there yet, because I know there is always room to grow, but for where I am right now, I'm learning which, each day that passes. That's, that's what I can say. But yeah, so I I, I don't want to keep rambling on or whatever, but I feel like I'm, I've been prepared through all the classes I've taken and my love for Nollywood and my personal experiences too. And again, we can see your talent, your talent also given to you by God. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I don't like to think of it as a bad thing, like, hey, you yeah. know, she talks a lot or whatever. Oh, it's good. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it.
Okay, that that leads me to the next question. What preparations do you make before taking on Nollywood movie uh, to review, especially since you appear on camera for your YouTube channel? Well, um, most times people, I've gotten to a stage right now where people actually tell me what movies they want me to talk about. When I initially started, it wasn't like that. You know, I was just, people were, it was a new idea to them. Here comes this girl, she's coming on YouTube, come and shout at the producers and all of that. And yeah. it, it took Nigerians and all my viewers, even non-Nigerians, a while to get used to the idea. But eventually they did. And now I've, I've developed such a relationship with them such that they tell me, oh, Nikkei, this is the movie we want you to talk about, or that is the movie we want you to talk about. So I listen to what most of them are talking about. And then I go find the movie, even if I sometimes I pay five dollars or seven dollars to watch a movie, and I watch the movie. But while I'm watching it, I'm taking notes, so I already have my pen and paper with me. So I'm taking all the notes because I don't want to forget anything. So I'm taking notes, and I watch it from the beginning to the end, and then I, I come to my conclusion about the movie. There are times that I sit back to think about the movie, but most times, yeah, when I'm done watching the movie, put out my pen and paper, and I'm ready to record my video. And then you, you said people call you. Uh, are they your friends or your fans? No, not my friends. My fans, actually. Uh, really? uh, most of them have access to my email because my email and my Facebook page and all of that is always on my videos. So they always send me emails or they just leave a comment on any of my videos saying, Hey, this is the movie we want you to talk about next. Good job. Some of them have my numbers. But my friends think think it's strange that <laughs> I'm on the internet. <laughs> you know? So my friends don't really uh, comment. If they have anything to say, they just call me and talk to me about it. But most people that talk on the website or on YouTube, they are my fans, not, not, not my friends. Uh, and then they, they might be asking you also, what time do you have to do all this? Yes, yes. You see, yes, as an attorney, as an attorney, and again she comes again on Nollywood. But see you <laughs> everywhere. Whoa! Just tell our listeners what time do you have to do all this? I have no time. I mean, you see how difficult it was to get a hold of me. Yeah. <laughs> I have absolutely no time. Um, I do. Like, you know, when I initially started, people thought I was crazy. People, my my mom actually thought it was a project for school. <laughs> She didn't know it was something for the internet, and I did not tell my family members. Um, it was so funny. My brother actually found me online, and then he called me and said, Hey, Nikkei, is this you I'm watching <laughs> on YouTube? And I was like, what? Yeah, that's me. And that was how he found out. So I didn't really tell anybody about it, because most of them just don't understand why and why how I have time to do all of that but I, I make time yeah. during the week I'm working mm -hmm. and full time you know I'm I'm going to work and all of that working with my clients and then on weekends when I'm not working I deal with my Nigerian movies and recording for YouTube do you find pleasure doing it because absolutely absolutely I do I guess if I did not a long time ago I would have stopped there are times I've actually gotten to a point where I was just like this is it I cannot keep doing both of these things but just the passion that I have for it and I've developed such a followership that I don't want to leave my fans hanging um, case in point the last video that I uploaded onto YouTube um, I wasn't as bubbly and my energy wasn't as high and I wasn't as excited as I normally am because when I recorded the video I was stressed out mm -hmm. I was tired mm -hmm. but I knew I needed to get something out there so I left a, a message on there saying you know hey guys I'm sorry this might not be as exciting as always but just bear with me for this one occasion and you know you were quite understanding that hey you know we understand what you're going through and all of that so yeah I, ha I have a personal relationship with them and I'm very that's wonderful. Now, um, what qualities and training do you think a good film critic should have? I think being a film 
crazy there's not anything you need to go to school for you know you, you shouldn't have to go to school to learn how to be a movie critic you know um i i, I believe that if you have you just need to have the eyes to look past beyond the all the paparazzi and the extravaganza going on in the movie you know it's not all about just driving Range Rovers up and down and doing all of that in a movie so I think for a good and a very intelligent movie reviewer or movie crit critic if you will you have to be able to look past the the basics of the movie and look into the technical aspect and think okay what why what if they are just this other actor mm. what if they are and then the story these other way so you have to be able to play around with the movie and with the ideas in your head and for the most part you just need to be able to enjoy and love watching movies yeah because yeah. i've watched so many movies such that there are some i don't even watch to the end before i know how it's gonna end you know so you have to have a love for it and enjoy it should, it's something that really should come naturally to you. you should be excited when you're talking about movies it, it, can you give us just an estimate of the number of movies you have watched i know uh, you you yeah, cannot remember yeah, yes you cannot remember everything but just an <laughs> estimate yeah <laughs> no a movies. lot a lot i'll tell you but i'll tell i will answer that question by telling you this i have about a little bit over 80 videos on youtube wow. yeah that's quite a lot so I was part of Hollywood movies. I can't even place a number on it. Who are the film critics who have influenced you the most? Just one, actually. Just one, because there are no movie critics in Nigeria that I'm aware of. But when I was going to start out this this journey that I'm on right now, the movie tri critic I actually looked up to uh, was a guy called Jeremy Jans on YouTube actually. Oh. Right? He reviews American movies like Hollywood movies and all of that. That's what he does. Okay. So and he does and he has a fantastic number of followership. Um he does such a great job. It's exciting to watch, you know. And I listen to him, I listen to him, I listen to how he talks about the movies and all of that. So that that was I still watch his videos out yeah. here today just yeah. so I you know I can keep improving on my craft too i'm sure he doesn't even know me but yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. yeah he, he is very good at what he does and of course uh, most people might know of rotten bananas the website they also do movie reviews and okay. all of that so yeah that, that that those are the movie critics i look i look up to uh, have you ever watched uh, roger ebert Roger. No, I no. Okay, not okay, okay. Heard that person. Yeah, he died last year. I know. I one of the greatest um, uh, American. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I know him. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, yeah. He used to. He used to be. He had a TV show. Yeah, yeah. He had a TV show, and he used to give either a double thumbs up yes, or yes. a double thumbs down. down yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I know him, and maybe uh, he's gone. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I knew of him. I did not know of him until after I started reviewing. Okay. Him.